Following the last example, we can leverage the same Emulate 3D model with the ICT framework to generate a PLC project using the integrated ICT ribbon. In the ICT ribbon, there's a PLC tab, which gives you the PLC code generation option. While we generate the project, we can connect directly to the Magnamotion controller. After we've turned off desktop simulation mode, switching to the NC host ribbon, there are a number of pretty cool features in this integrated client, which connects directly to the Magnamotion track and can also be used during commissioning. When connected and we hit play, the movers disappear. This is because the track is in a non-operational state, which is indicated by the color of the motors. If we send a startup command, the Magnamotion controller will start all the motors and the track switches to a green color. Also, the movers are found. We can switch between the operational states and send hardware commands easily from this integrated client. This is our generated project. We can download it and test it out. Device status gives us an overview of the connected hardware. We can see that the Magnamotion controller has successfully connected to the PLC. We can start the track from the startup sequence routine. In the configure AOI, we simply specify the IP address for communication from PLC to Magnamotion controller. When we issue the command startup, the sequence starts running through and we can see the color changing on the motors as the track is enabled. Going over to the motion program, we have our station logic. Before we start, let's have a look at the stations. First, station zero, we can see that all the parameters are the same as in the model, as this was the basis for the code generated project. Looking at the grouping station, station 1, we see it's configured differently than station 0, with the substations specified, also according to the model. Everything looks right and we can enable all the stations using the generated station coordinator. You can easily switch back and forth between a hardware in the loop simulation style, as we're doing here, or back to a model in the loop simulation using the desktop simulation setting, and test out different variations of tracks, control strategies, and sequences.